the 22nd of November 2014. Kenny Lowe sees his side struggling to hold back the might of the Wellington Phoenix. Their two goal lead is as good as dead. Kenny's left with no choice but to summon the vanilla chocolate magic of Ruben Zakovic, a bulletproof tiger with wings. The only man capable enough to deal with the tremendous talents of Vincent Vincenzo Lea. Let's break down this footballing masterclass second by second. Six seconds in and incredible! He's made it onto the pitch without tripping over! Good job, son! Dad will be proud! Nearly seven whole seconds on the pitch and Ruben still hasn't tripped over! This is incredible! Ruben is in the zone! Here we are, eight seconds in, and Ruben still hasn't tripped over! The fans must be thinking Kenny Lowe is a bloody genius! Let's see the heat map of his movement so far! Marvellous! Nine seconds in, and we're at the halfway point of Ruben's match. We're at the 10 second mark, and not a single shot off target for Rubes! He'll be over the moon with those stats! 11 seconds, you can see without all that extra baggage on his head, none of that hair weighing him down, he's just gliding across the pitch with such grace and poise! I've never seen a man so vertical for this long! 12 seconds, the Wellington players are trembling in fear, too petrified to man Mark Rubin and his ever intimidating 62 kilo frame! You wouldn't want to go 12 rounds with those 11 inch biceps coming at ya! 13 seconds in and Ruben takes a cautious glance at his arch nemesis, the QBE advertising signage, and breathes a sigh of relief to see he's still a safe distance away. He's not ready to drip! He's not ready to drip! 14 seconds and only 3 seconds left to appreciate the magic of Ruben Zadkovic! He hasn't put a foot wrong! Literally! And for Ruben, that is quite an achievement! 15 seconds, the calm before the storm. Ruben knows his job. He has to take out the most dangerous man on the pitch, Vince Slayer, or all hope is lost for Perth. As much as he longs to hear the flying chance from the shed, he knows his mission. The 16 second mark, this is where the game changes. Right here, Ruben locks eyes on Vince Lear, and his body gets consumed by the red mist. There's a lot of bad blood there because Rube's got snubbed for a clear centerfold in favour of Vince. Ruben even called the photographer and said he could bring his own ball. He didn't want a bar of it. The 17th second. Right here, Vince is thinking, Rubes, no! You're 60 yards out! You're too far to take a shot on goal! Then BOOM! Plot twist! Good luck getting another clear photo shoot with Ruben stud marks all up your legs, you fuckhead! Well, Lucy and Lavendor, you've just earned yourself a strongly worded letter from Ruben's dad. I hope it was worth it. Ruben offers Vince a commiserating handshake, but he's still bitter at Rubes for not following him back on Instagram. Ruben doesn't give a shit, though. He gets to leave work early and catch the ending of Australia's Got Talent.